Hey fam, all right. The nails are finally done. Uh, I did get some stocking stuffers for Cheyenne, so I wanted to show you guys that. All right, so there is that one hand is all done, and we're gonna move over to the next hand. <laughs> So no full face beat. I'm now in the store doing last minute Christmas shopping for my colleagues who are here today. So I thought those were funny. I'm gonna get those for my manager. And then I'm looking for hair stuff. Like, um, I thought maybe stocking stuffers for Cheyenne. And then there's one other young lady that I have to get something for. It's rained since last night at five o'clock. If you were wondering why I did not do my full face. But I did take the twist out. Um, it shrank up more than I thought. But I'll talk about that when I get out of the value drugs. Hey fam! Alright, I'm finally getting to my nails. So I am going to do some glue on these Kiss Glam Fantasy nails. First thing is you get a bunch of nails in the box. You have to fit them to your finger or see which size fits your nail bed. Some are wider, some are more narrow because as you know, us ladies have different size nail beds. I have fairly narrow nail beds and narrow fingers so that makes sense that they go together. So I'm just sorting them out, what would go where, and then they give you a couple of different styles. So there are some matte, it's like a midnight blue matte paint or lacquer on these nails. And then I also have a, I don't know what you call it, iridescent on the nail. Yeah, iridescent and then one with the sparkle. So pick those out. Now I'm moving on to my pedicure. Don't judge me. These feet, this is why we're doing a pedicure. So first and foremost, we have to remove this polish from my toes. So we're going to start there. Yes, the nails are long. We're going to cut those next, but first we get the polish off. It is the non-toxic polish, although I'm pretty sure this nail polish remover might be toxic. I don't know. I'm kidding. It's not organic. Let me just say that. <laughs> okay. So it looks like we're moving and grooving here with the removal of the polish. I want to make sure I get into the cuticles and they look pretty clean to me. So I'm going to move on. Uh, I'm going to take this orange wedge and dig into my cuticles. Or I guess not dig. I don't know if that's the right word, but sort of go underneath the cuticle area there just so if there's like any dead cuticle or excess I can take that off and free up my cuticle bed and my nail bed there so it's not too crazy considering how long my toes are but yeah and then clean underneath the nails of course fun stuff now here come the clippers so I moisten that a little bit just to get off the old cuticle and dust it for whatever else before I cut the nails. This nail clipper is in the shape of a semicircle, so it doesn't cut straight across, which is nice. It makes it easier. I always get worried about, what are they called? Hangnails or um, ingrown toenails. And so these don't cut it straight across so that you don't, or I guess you have a reduced risk of ingrown. All right, so off to the other foot, clipping them. I like my big toe, the nail to be flush and straight across. It helps protect my toes and like heels and whatever else. When you're walking around New York, one, there's a lot of walking, two people step on your toes, especially on the subway. So I never want that one to be too short or too long. Also, when I go hiking, it's not good to have a long nail. It will kind of get shoved in the top of your hiking boot. Okay, so that's that. I'm rubbing that with a little bit of water. 
and then filing it just so it's all nice and even. Sometimes with the clipper, you get a little bit of a jagged edge. I just want it to be smooth. Don't want those toenails getting caught in my stockings or snagging on sheets or loved ones. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay, so filing over on the next side, giving it a little bit of a shape. You can't really tell because it's going fast, but in general, you want to go in the same direction when you're filing. You don't want to drag it left and right. You want to do like left, 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 left and keep lifting it up so that you don't make the nail brittle. All right, so that's all done. I'm going to scrub the cuticles with a little bit of hot water, scrub the heels. This is just to get it prepped. So scrubbing all of that. And there we go with the mint, it's like lavender or something mint scrub from Carol's Daughter that we're going to rub in. And scrubbing it beforehand gets the skin and cuticles ready to absorb this because it kind of breaks up that top layer of skin or whatever else you got going on there. So it helps it just penetrate better. So yeah. My feet are a little swollen as you can see in this zoom in shot. That's thanks to Applejack. They're not too bad. It is the end of the day, but they are slightly swollen. So I'm rubbing in this scrub. It's like a lemon something mint scrub. <laughs> it smells really yummy. And then I'm wrapping my foot in plastic. And then I'm going to rub this side. There we go. I need to do the heel, but I put the plastic underneath first so I don't make a mess. Rub, rub, rub. There's some oil in there as well as the scrub. So it's just really moisturizing and it just feels yummy as it goes in. Helps remove the dead skin and soften all the other skin that remains. Rub, rub, rub. And then we wrap the toesies. And these are just throwaway like grocery bags that I've wrapped it in. I rinse my hands off and dry them. And then I want to put my socks back on top because that keeps it all nice and warm. It's sort of like a deep conditioner for my feet. Yay! All right, back to these nails. I've washed my hands, of course, and dried them. Your hands have to be super dry to get these nails to glue on, so that's all done, check. And now I've sorted out one hand already with the sizes, and so I'm just reconfirming I have them in the right order, and I'm going to make sure I have the other hand all sorted out. And I couldn't decide if I wanted them to be exactly the same, so like matte, sparkly, matte, iridescent matte I wasn't sure um so ultimately I decided it just really matters if it fits properly and who's going to be comparing left hand to right hand to see if I matched it and if I didn't it was my choice my hands so anyway making sure it fits on the thumb like I said I have narrow fingers and so I just want to make sure that it doesn't look fake on there that it has like a natural fit where it looks believable so we got all those sorted out and then what to do there we go and then I needed a mat for that middle finger and I'm just checking the sides oh this is hard work I'm getting thirsty okay back to that all right now I gotta cut the glue so this little nail kit came with glue. I'm pretty sure it's a one-time use glue. Um, I'm checking my nails, just making sure there's nothing under them, especially like scrub, even though I wash my hands. That stuff is pretty sticky. All right, so putting the glue on the nail and on my own nail, which is what the directions say, and then placing it in, tapping it down on the sides. I had to be very careful because with the mat, I had to make sure that the glue didn't get on top because the glue has a little bit of shine to it. And then that obviously is conspicuous on a matte color if you have shine at the bottom. So that was a little tricky, but it worked out okay. And I don't want to say I put it under the cuticle, but I put it as close to the cuticle as possible. So it looked like it was growing out of my hand. So there's more of that glue 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 all right so there is that one hand is all done and we're going to move over to the next hand same thing five more fingers 
or four fingers in a digit. <laughs> Get that all in there. We got a little bit of an oopsie, so I'm getting some fingernail polish remover. Oh, I know what it was. The glue was getting stuck to my fingers. I always wondered if people are going to commit a crime, do you think if they put super glue across their fingers, it would change their fingerprint? This glue was a little bit tricky, so I had to be careful. But it came right off with the remover. I think as long as you get it quickly, you won't have an issue, but definitely something to be mindful of. All right, so there we go. Let's cut to the end. All 10 are in. We have eight digits, two thumbs, looking good. Peace. Hey fam. All right, the nails are finally done. Uh, I did get some stocking stuffers for Cheyenne, so I wanted to show you guys that before she got home. I got this at the drugstore. Can you see that? It is a wet brush cleaner. Um, she likes to brush her hair when she's in the shower, so I thought that would be cool. And then I got this little baggie, which is a bag within a bag, like a reusable bag. She's been using my Toomey bag, so hopefully this will encourage her to use her own. Um, but it keeps you that way when you go to the store, you don't have to have like a plastic bag. You just take your own bag for shopping and whatever else. Uh, I got her these. They look like little macaroons. They are erasers. So I thought that was cute. Cheyenne is an artist. She likes to draw. Um, she designs clothing, so she does a lot of sketches. And then I went to Dwayne Reed because I was getting some other stuff. And they had this thing that was like, can you guys see me? The lights are there. I've been editing and I look all sweaty now. Um, <laughs> anyway, Dwayne Reed had this four for five dollar bin. And so I got a bunch of cute stuff. Isn't that the cutest? It looks like an ornament. It's going in her stocking. It is, I think it is wash. I don't have my glasses on now. Oh, shower gel. It's shower gel, which I thought was super cute. And then this, they're all sugar scented. Let me find my glasses. Hang on one second. <laughs> ah. Okay, there we go. So these are all, it's a sugar scent that they have. So anyway, there's the shower gel. Then this one is, oh, it's sugar frosting as a scent. This is nail polish remover wipes. So that's going to go in her stocking. I got her some curly haired girl bands. I've been raving about these bands as I've been doing my hair. These are silver. Um, she likes to wear her hair in kind of funky styles. I always wear black, so it blends in with my hair, but you know, she's young. <laughs> and then I got this Mary and Bright sugar frosting scented bath salt so you can kind of see the salts in there but yeah so i thought that'd be fun to put in her stocking she likes stocking stuffer so there that is i still haven't finished my feet i did finish my nails um they're still in those socks i'm editing vlogmas day 20 and so i want to get that posted and then i'll take these out and i wanted to give these nails a chance to dry before i put them in water right <laughs> Those swollen feet are those. Those are mine. I've taken off the plastic wrap and placed them in, or placed my feet in the tub here. I'm running really warm water and I'm using a little bit of my hemp soap to take off the scrub. There is oil in the scrub, so I want to make sure I get all of that off as well as all the little granules from the scrub. Get them off all 10 little piggies and make sure they're all nice and squeaky clean. I did wait a while if you're wondering because I did want the glue on the nails to dry on my hands. Um, here I'm just going around the cuticle again while it's soft and seeing if there's anything left in there that shouldn't be there. All right, and me and my little swollen feet are going to get dry here and we're gonna hop out of the tub. All right, nice and dry back in the living room. I'm running the cuticle pusher right around the cuticle one more time. Now that they're nice and soft and have soaked, they're a little more malleable, so I can push them back and make sure that there is not any dead cuticle hanging around. And I just scoop it out. Um, this is a cuticle cutter, so I'm cutting that top part off of each toe. It's much easier to do after the skin has been soaking in that scrub and with the bag on and the socks on and it's been nice and warm and then I used the warm water to soak it off so it's just coming right off.
then we'll continue on until we get all 10 little piggies nice and dead cuticle free. <laughs> okay. Those big toes have a lot of surface to cover. You want to be gentle with this. You definitely don't want to pull up any skin that isn't ready to be pulled up because you will get a hangnail and it hurts. Um, so just kind of scooch around nice and smoothly. All right, looking good there. Happy little toes. I'm going to take the clippers one more time. So the um, nails are a little bit softer, so they're easier to clip, but I'm noticing that those toenails may be a little too long. So I just want them to be even with the end of my foot. So doing that one more time. And then of course, we're gonna have to file that down. As soon as I find the file, stop dropping things. <laughs> there we go, there's a file. So that's just to smooth it out. Again, don't wanna rip any hosiery, stockings, socks, loved ones, or sheets. So we want that nice and smooth. All right, so we're gonna take this napkin and rub it through, or run it through each toe. This is to keep the toe separated and ready for polish. And this is just a plain old napkin that I got from Takeout. You can use a paper towel, or if you have those little cuticle things, you can use those. I used to use the little sponges, but they're kind of hard to clean, and my feet are clean, but I'm worried about, like, fungus. Okay, here's my rainbow gloss tint. That is an organic nail tint polish, lacquer, wherever you are in the world, what you call them. There are no bad things in this polish. So they are safe for women who are going through fertility treatments. I know, I just glued nails on, but I don't think the, the glue is as bad. Um, it's one of the reasons that I don't get gel nail polishes. I'm worried about it being absorbed, but pick your battles. These are just for the holidays, so hopefully... Applejack and I will be okay. All right, drying these off in between coats. If you put your coats on too soon, they will bubble up and get thick. So this is obviously sped up, but I did wait in between so that I had a little drying time. I wouldn't say they were completely dry, but like, you know, it gets a little tacky where it's not wet, wet, like a first application wet. All right, so here goes coat number two. And this is a silver, I think it said magical dust. It reminded me of baby dust. So that was one of the reasons why I picked this color. And so the toes are all done with that second coat. I do a little bit on the end. Look how cute my toes are. Okay. We're gonna dry again, I think. No, we're not, we're moving right on to top coat. Okay, so this is just but it says a nice little top coat to give it a little bit of a gloss. I think I got some on my toe there, so I cleaned it up. I keep the fingernail polish remover handy during this, just in case there is a little bit of a spillage or overage. I can put a Q-tip in there and run it over wherever the overage is. Uh oh, there's some that's escaped. I just wiped that off. That was a clear polish. Here we go. There's a remover. I'm gonna dab it before it dries just so I don't have a mess later on. Okay. And then I'm gonna put on the Orly Flash Dry. And it goes across each toe, or each toenail, you know what I mean. And that helps it dry faster. You going to be careful with this not to rub cater onto your wet nail. Okay, there we go. There's our three magic products all done. Cute toes. We'll see you tomorrow in our next Christmas vlog. Good night.